I would like to start by thanking the organizers of the annual uh, cybersecurity conference uh, in Bucharest and especially Director General of uh, Romanian CERT uh, Augustin Gianu for the invitation to be part of the uh, event uh, and also to express my appreciations for um, those entities that are supporting it, mainly the U.S. government through the Embassy of the United States uh, in uh, Romania and the many representatives from the private sector. Um, due to the intense uh, preparations uh, for the Defense Ministerial later this uh, week, uh, I could not be uh, today in person uh, with you in Bucharest, but I'm very much uh, looking forward for the next edition of uh, the annual conference. And uh, let me uh, underline uh, the fact that uh, the approach that the organizers took in uh, preparing for this conference, this private partnership approach, is one uh, that uh, is very familiar uh, to NATO uh, in addressing uh, the current uh, cyber threats and the challenges uh, of uh, cyber security. Uh, but let me start by uh, expressing some of NATO's uh, priorities in the field of cyber defense while um, providing the link um, also to the private-public uh, uh, partnership in this uh, field. Uh, the main areas uh, where the work in cyber defense at NATO is focused are uh, the ones that are linked to uh, the conceptual um, and uh, uh, doctrinal uh, evolution, uh, linked also to um, capabilities development, to uh, capacity building, uh, skills, awareness and planning, and um, last but not least to the development of uh, partnerships uh, in the field of cyber defense. In terms of conceptual uh, development, as uh, it is known, uh, at the last uh, NATO summit uh, in Wales, uh, the enhanced uh, NATO policy on cyber defense has included um, at least two very um, important aspects. The one uh, is linked to uh, the recognition that international law applies in um, uh, cyberspace, so uh, also the support with, of NATO in development, uh, in the development of norms and uh, of uh, confidence building measures in, uh, in cyberspace is, is uh, very relevant. The other aspect uh, uh, is uh, the link between cyber defense and uh, collective defense so to, to the reason of, of being of the uh, alliance. Uh, I uh, think that um, for the upcoming uh, month uh, a lot of uh, work would be uh, dedicated in uh, strengthening uh, NATO's support for the development of in, uh, international norms and also uh, the cooperation of international institutions uh, in the field of uh, cyber defense. In terms of uh, capability development, focuses both on NATO's own capabilities, the so-called uh, NATO Computer Incident Response Center, the NCIRC, and the centralized protection of uh, all NATO systems across more than 50 sites. Uh, a number of uh, new sites will be uh, added to this centralized uh, protection and also a number of advanced um, analytics capabilities um, are going to be uh, addressed. At the same time, uh, NATO is looking to develop a second generation uh, cyber defense capability targets for nations, targets that will be um, subsequently included in the NATO defense planning process. In terms of development of uh, skills, uh, training, uh, education and exercises, uh, I would say uh, that uh, this is based on a long-term plan. Uh, and uh, it's also um, based on uh, long-term uh, planning uh, and development of scenarios for exercises. And here I'm not referring just to the annual 
dedicated uh, cyber exercise, the Cyber uh, Coalition, um, where we had last year for the first time industry participation in the exercise and uh, of course uh, this year uh, this will be not just repeated but uh, also enhanced. I'm speaking about the inclusion of cyber elements into all uh, NATO uh, exercises. Uh, information exchange and increased awareness is uh, another key priority. Uh, allies have uh, negotiated a new template for the memoranda of understanding between the Cyber Defense Management Board of NATO and uh, contact points and each and every nation, which will be uh, offering the possibility of enhanced and expedited um, information exchange. To this I would add also the role of the multinational uh, smart defense projects, both in terms of capability development and information um, exchange. And uh, probably everyone is aware about NATO's malware information sharing uh, platform. In terms of partnerships, um, as you know, NATO develops partnerships with other international organizations, um, with the U European Union, United Nations, uh, uh, the OEC. Uh, with the European Union, we already have a structured staff-to-staff um, -staff, uh, dialogue and um, we aim uh, to uh, develop uh, also an information exchange uh, memorandum between NCERC and CERT uh, EU. Uh, with partner nations, we uh, have a cyber defense uh, partnership uh, which is based on mutual uh, interest and uh, of course uh, on the uh, case by case uh, depending on the level of ambition and capabilities and interest of every partner nation. Uh, but what, what I think it's uh, worth to uh, emphasize and also in link with the key theme of the public-private partnership is the fact that at Wales heads of state and government have launched the NATO Industry Cyber Partnership, the so-called NICP. And in this uh, domain we have been already advancing um, quite significant in terms of information exchange, both exchange of data but also exchange of evaluations, analysis that uh, have uh, taken place in the framework of uh, um, big conferences but also uh, smaller size uh, dedicated uh, workshops. Also through direct dialogue between industry representatives with the political side of the house, with the cyber defense uh, uh, committee, um, we are advancing also in enhancing the cooperation uh, in the field of training, uh, education and exercises and I think the next level challenge would be to see how best we can enhance our cooperation with industry in the field of uh, innovation uh, which is key uh, in order to bring to uh, our defenses the best technologies, the best uh, solutions that can be only developed in partnership with industry. So. Uh, there is a very uh, generous, I would say, um, and very intense uh, agenda and uh, we are looking forward to uh, promoting it in strong partnership with each and every um, member nations, with, um, uh, also with our partner institutions, but also through the direct partnership with uh, industry. I wish uh, great success uh, to your um, uh, conference and uh, looking forward to, to follow up uh, on future editions. Thank you very much.